is he here? Well, before we start tunnelling, there's three things we'll need to prepare. First of all, there's a link below the video where you can download the spreadsheet that I'm going to tell you how to use. And then secondly, you'll need cheats turned on in your Minecraft world, otherwise the commands we're going to use won't work. And thirdly, you'll be switching between your Minecraft world and your spreadsheet frequently. So learn how to do this on your particular machine. I'm on a Mac and I use command tab keys to do this switching from one to other. But you find out and familiarise yourself with how you do that in your machine setup. OK, let's get tunnelling. So here we are, a bit underground. Nice chambers round about. And I'm standing next to a wall where I think we'll start the tunnel. So let's destroy a few of these blocks just as though we were about to start a tunnel. Right, OK, so we need to know the size of this tunnel. So there's one block, two blocks, three blocks, four blocks, five blocks length, one, two, three, four, four blocks high and one block deep. So that's five, four, one. We put a torch there. And now let's go to the spreadsheet. And we'll put these figures, the five for the length, four for the height and one for the depth. Now, to copy the clone command, we need to know in the game which way we're facing, north, west, east or south. So back to the game and we press F3 and it says we're facing west. So let's go back to the spreadsheet and go to the facing west part and take the first clone instruction select it and copy. Let's go back to the game and now we position ourselves opposite the bottom left block and it's important to know you're standing in the right place. So there's the block we're standing on, negative 3649. There's the block we're looking at, bottom left hand block and we're at negative 6649 that block is. Two numbers are the same. We should have a gap of two. We should be standing two blocks in front. So we need to move in a little bit. And look at them now. Negative four, negative six. That's a difference of two. So we're ready. So for this next move, you should always be standing two blocks back from the bottom left hand corner block of the bit you want to clone to make the tunnel. Now type a forward slash and there you can see the command entry box at the bottom of your screen and then paste. So at this stage you can see the clone command that you copied from the spreadsheet appears just beside that forward slash and the next action is to press the return key. And keep your eye on the tunnel up on the right. There we go. It's been extended by one block. So the tunnel's begun. Let's go back to the spreadsheet now. And once we're there, we'll copy the second line. Copy that. And back to the game. Forward slash. Paste. And return. Now we've got more of the tunnel. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. Third row, highlight that, copy it. Back to the game, forward slash, paste and return. And there are the tunnels proceeding. Back to the spreadsheet, copy the next clone command. Back to the game, forward slash, paste, return. Back to the spreadsheet. Highlight, copy, back to the game, forward slash, paste, and return. And the tunnel's getting on very well. Let's have a look at it. There we go. That's a pretty fast 
tunnel builder once you get going and get into the habit. Now, I think I'm in danger, I hear problems. I better get back to a safe place. I have no weapons, I've got nothing to protect myself with. Now, way down the stairs, grab some weapons down here. Well, that's Mr. Corsi signing out and hope you enjoyed the video.